In this series, I'm revisiting story structure and plotting because I want to make a better video series than what I had before. What we're going to cover is story structure and plotting. And so I made up this story structure and plotting guide, which I'll explain what all this stuff means and how it applies. Not only will you learn what good story structure is, but you'll learn how to make a, how to come up with the components of a story structure. You also learn what plotting is and how to do it. But most importantly, you learn how to craft your own story, complete and awesome. I guarantee by the time you're finished with this series, you will be able to come up with a complete story or to complete a story that you've been having troubles with and to make it good. Okay, so let's get started really quick with an overview of everything that we're going to cover, and then I'll go into detail. So we'll be going over what all this is in detail, but first, just a quick overview. So you have here Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Act 2, you can see, is the longest of the acts. Every story is broken down into the three-act system. Within that three-act system, movies and many novels are broken down into five turning points, which we have listed here. These five turning points I have labeled Opportunity, Monkey Wrench, No Turning Back, All Seems Lost, and Climax. And between each of those five turning points, there are the things that lead to them. So you have the setup, you have the new situation, progress, complications, higher, higher, higher to lose, that is higher, higher stakes. There's more to lose. I should just name that more to lose finally give it all an aftermath. All this will make sense uh, once we go through what each, each of these mean. And then you'll be able to just look at this here and come up with fantastic stories once you know what all this means and how to put it together and use it. It's a very powerful tool once you know how to use this guide. Okay, so, um, okay, real quick before I give a, an example for, you know, before we get into all this means and get started, this here is the 10% mark, 25, 50, 75, and 90%. And so you'll see that the setup of your story only takes the first 10%. And then this is when, you know, at 25%, this is when your story actually kicks into gear. Uh, this is when the, 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 the desire and goal are clear. That's what the ending, you know, what, how we kind of, we don't, we don't know how it's going to end, but the ending is now in mind. That, that is the desire, the, the thing that the character wants to obtain is revealed here and will either at the climax, they will get that goal or they will fail to get that goal, but it, that will be the end. So the end is revealed here, and that meaning we can foresee whether this character is either going to get what they want or not. This is the turning point, which happens exactly at 50%, and it doesn't have to be exactly, but um, most stories that you'll read or watch, whether in comic book form or movie form or uh, novel form, you're going to have the turning point pretty much happen at the 50% mark. And then at the 75% mark, you're going to have this point where all seems lost. Um, this in, romance, in romances, this is when, you know, they one of them find out what the other one has been up to. You know, usually it's something that, you know, makes one of them angry. And then uh, how dare you be hiding that from me? And they break up. Then they, then they give it all, and then finally here's when they get back together, and then yay, they get married happily after. Okay, so you can um, calculate these percentages based upon the number of papers for a screenplay, for example. If you have 120 pages of screenplay, then you can figure out what the 10% mark is on your calculator just by typing in 120, 120 times 10%. And that would be page 12, but usually it's by about page 10, though, you really want to make that happen where you want that uh, opportunity to be presented. Um, okay, and then if it's a novel, let's say you go by, I, I would go by the amount of words, so because that's, that's how you submit manuscripts for novels is by word count and not page count. So let's say you have uh, 100,000 100, word novel, which is pretty typical. Then 10% would obviously be the first 10,000 words, so a couple chapters. And then if it's an 80,000-page novel, it would be the first uh, 8,000 words. So anyway... Okay, so that's how you figure that out. I'm going to give a quick example then uh, with the fisherman and just kind of show how and how this uh, this is the same as this down here, but this is showing the escalation, like a visual 
imagery of how a story goes, how it gets more and more and more, more conflict, more at stake, more suspenseful, and then finally the aftermath. Okay, so let's see if I can do this in five minutes or less. So we'll start here with the, the setup, which is here before this uh, 10% mark. So it'll go from here to here. Max Coven, a simple fisherman, is poor and heartbroken. He needs cash to fix his boat. He fishes and works on his boat to escape the pain felt from the loss of his wife. He's offered a big sum of cash to bring in some crabs. His boat will make it. If not, he and his crew are prepared for the worst. While fishing for crabs, they find two girls, adrift on a lifeboat. He needs to catch his crabs for the day, or he will not be paid, but he needs to help these ladies. They need to get back to their homeland, which is in the opposite direction. He agrees to help them. Now we're moving from here to here. He agrees to help them. Okay, so now this is the the monkey wrench is about to be thrown in. That, that is, um, now he has to make a decision. Does he say, no, I can't help you. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to take you back to the harbor where you could find another ride back to your place. I need to finish my work. I need to get paid. I need to, you know, I need to work. I need to fix my boat. It's falling apart. But they convince him that they really need to go and they can't go back there. It's, it's too dangerous or something. And, you know, they, they don't, they can't wait. They, they really need to get back to their, to their place, to their home. So he agrees to help them. So he figures that, you know, maybe he can still fish, you know, on the way there. He can catch some crab on the way there. And there's something strange about these two. There's something strange and mysterious about the whole story. Now we're moving from here to here. They don't have enough fuel to get back. Max is falling in love with one of the sisters. The other one is driving him up the wall. The crew are begging him to turn back. It's too late now. They don't have enough time to catch the crabs. That is, if they were to, uh, you know, if they were to turn back, there's, there's really no point now. Um, they either were going to catch the crabs or not. They have to get the sisters back, back safely and hope they're telling the truth about their loaded father. That is, they hope the sisters are telling the truth about uh, their loaded father, their father being able to pay them a lot of money. Okay, so now they're at that point of no turning back. Uh, they've wasted too much fuel. They can't go back now. Um, if they're going to get the crabs, they need to just get them, and maybe they can bring them back on the on the you know keep the keep the crabs, and then uh, on the on when they do get back, maybe they can still find a buyer for them. Okay, so now we're going to move from this no turning back point from the halfway point of the story to here, from 50 to 75 percent of the story. So they run into problem after problem, and now Max has more than his crew to worry about. The complications are getting worse, and he has more to lose. The stakes are getting higher. The sisters, li the sisters' lives are at stake. They face a storm, sea nymphs, a giant squid. So this is uh, all this crazy stuff was happening from here to here. Also, you'd have some conflict happening from here to here as well. But this is where it really starts ramping up, and there's more at stake, and everything is uh, getting really difficult and hard. Max loses two crew members and can no longer run the boat properly. The boat is sinking. All hope seems lost. This is where we're at this, this point here where all seems lost. Max lets the crabs go in order to keep the boat afloat. So he makes a hard decision, has to let the crabs go because, you know, uh, the boat's sinking. They weigh too much, so he throws all that money away. And he does his best to seal the leak. And now a huge wall blocks the path to the sister's home. He won't let the sister into his heart. He's too afraid to get hurt because he's been running this whole time from his wife's death. And now we're going to move to the 75 to the 90 percent where he's going to he's going to give it all. Um, all seemed lost, but now he's going to give everything he has to do this and uh, get past this wall. There are two statues um, in front of the wall. And so interesting enough, the final battle is is against the wall. It's not against some huge monster. The sisters don't know why the wall is closed. It never has been before. Max Coven swims to the wall, stares up at the huge statues, and asks them what to do. He didn't come all this way to lose his crabs and not be paid. They tell him the answer is love. And I'll go ahead and end this part here. And then we'll go into part two and, and quickly finish how this, this example sums up. Then we'll go into more detail all of this. And it will help you to write awesome stories. It's, it's really awesome to know how to use this thing, trust me.